flash of light that turns night there into day. Look at that. The dazzling sight caught on dashboard camera and seen for miles. So far, scientists have no clear explanation as to what caused the flash. We do begin with that deadly storm being called historic tonight, a state of emergency and now at least seven dead. And this evening, the urgent call to action, the National Guard, those Humvees moving in, drivers trapped for hours, and a harrowing drive home for millions of Americans. Look at this tonight, a highway in Wisconsin, that car sliding into another vehicle parked on the shoulder of the road. Much of the rest of the country is freezing cold. More than a dozen record lows tied or broken this morning, from New England to the Gulf Coast to Florida. This solid wall of clouds just south of Buffalo shows the power of that lake effect storm. Some areas could see up to 100 inches of snow by this weekend. The second round of a monster lake effect snowstorm intensified overnight with winds blowing up to 25 miles per hour and thunder snow lighting up the downtown Buffalo sky. Snow began piling up early Tuesday, burying people in their homes and leaving drivers stranded along stretches of roadway. Close to 150 cars were stuck on a four-mile stretch of the New York State Thruway. Now a new threat. Warmer temperatures melting that snow. The rivers rising. Crews rushing to stack thousands of sandbags along their banks. And today the state will release numbers on how much water individual Californians are using. For the first time, State Water Resources Control Board will go public with per capita data. It's being used to determine which communities are conserving the most and which need to do more. Strong aftershocks could continue for the next week after an earthquake today in central Japan. Close to 500 were forced from their homes by the quake which was centered near Nagano. The magnitude 6.2 earthquake struck near Nagano City. The shock radiated through homes and businesses. People at the local TV station scrambled for cover. It knocked out power to 1,600 homes and triggered a landslide in Nagano, blocking and damaging roads. A 6.3 magnitude earthquake has jolted southwest China's Sichuan province. Japan and China are reeling from the impact of strong earthquakes with magnitudes of more than six that hit on Saturday. The United Nations declares a state of emergency in Gaza City following two days of heavy rains and flooding in the war-ravaged Palestinian enclave. UNRWA said it is very concerned about such severe storms in the wake of unprecedented damage and destruction caused by the recent seven-week Israeli offensive. Floods triggered by torrential rain have killed at least 32 people in southern Morocco. Most victims were swept away by swollen rivers which also submerged cars, buildings and roads. The storms of recent days have been described as the worst in decades. And some incredible video this morning of a massive tornado tearing across a field near Dundee, South Africa. Pictures and videos like this one are popping up all over social media sites. No injuries reported here, but several homes were apparently damaged in that storm. That is just huge. The force of nature there. Emergency crews are slowly restoring power to thousands of homes across Sydney after fierce thunderstorms. Three people were struck by lightning from a total of 3,000 recorded lightning strikes across the greater Sydney region. There's also heavy rain and wind gusts of up to 80 kilometres an hour bringing down trees. The lightning sparked several bushfires. A woman in Melbourne, Australia disappeared in her own backyard the other day. The 45-year-old woman was hanging laundry to dry when the ground just opened up, swallowed her up. She dropped about 10 feet into a sinkhole filled with waist-deep water. Now the cleanup is continuing this morning in Brisbane after the city was absolutely smashed by a massive hailstorm. Power lines were brought down, roofs ripped from buildings and streets flooded. Eamon, good morning to you. This this was the biggest storm the city's seen in, what was it, 30 years, they're saying? 30 years. Wow. Yes, they're saying 30 years. The Weather Bureau is also saying it's pretty much one of the worst storms you'll see anywhere uh, in Australia. Really caught a lot of people off guard. A month's average rainfall dumped in about half an hour, so that caused flash flooding throughout the city. So uh, the Insurance Council of Australia has labelled this a catastrophic event.
a fireball shooting across the sky. You can see it here, a man running out in his yard to capture it. And this dash cam video shows another angle. Comments came pouring in on social media claiming the fireball was fake. But that's not what a local astronomer says. What I saw was perfectly consistent with a bright fireball from a large meteor in the atmosphere, much like the one that uh, exploded over Russia a couple of years ago. Take a look at this map from the American Meteor Society. You can see other reports from Oklahoma City to Muskogee and even Texas last week, making the fireball seem real. The fact that it was seen over widespread areas is also consistent with this being an actual fireball that went over Oklahoma. Flash floods caused by torrential rain in the south of France have left at least four people dead and two missing. Fields were turned into lakes, streets into rivers, as the latest in a series of autumn storms caused havoc. Further west at Serignan, a mini tornado on Friday morning left a scene of devastation. Meteorological officials say smoke from Kyushu's Mount Aso in southwestern Japan rose about a kilometer and a half into the air on Thursday. They say they believe a magma eruption is underway. It's the first time in 19 years that smoke from the volcano has gone this high. The volcanic ash is affecting airline travel as well. A volcano has erupted on the Cape Verde Islands, forcing hundreds of residents to flee their homes and the local airport to close. It's the first time the volcano on the island of Fogo has erupted since 1995. The archipelago lies around 600 kilometers off the west coast of Africa. A large boom heard in Winnebago County last night as people talking. So we saw for a track down the source and talked to some people rattled by the noise. A loud boom at about six last night heard around town becomes today's talk of the town. What was that? Then we all went looking for flames or something, just something to show outside, but there was nothing. And we heard this boom and I looked at my wife and said, was that thunder? <laughs> and we just kind of shrugged it off. Tonight a mysterious noise is plaguing a northwest Atlanta community and keeping neighbors up through the night. Channel 2's Rachel Stockman is live on DuPont Common Circle where she tried to get to the bottom of what neighbors are hearing all night. Since we've been out here since about 3 this afternoon, we've heard this sound about 5 or 6 different times. It's pretty loud in person. Our mic, unfortunately, doesn't pick it up that well. It sounds a bit like a tornado siren. Neighbors in three developments along Marietta Road in northwest Atlanta say they've heard the mysterious noise since it started about six weeks ago. It could go off at 1 a.m., 2 a.m., 3 a.m., and you, you hear it and you just don't know uh, what it could be. We're hearing sirens maybe 10 times a day some days, late at night, all hours. Well, tonight it rattled homes and even the nerves of a lot of people living up north in Lafayette. But the questions about a late night explosion linger after it occurred. Buzz today at Lafayette Brewing Company and all around this city is about what happened in Lafayette yesterday. It was very weird, very weird. Around 11 Sunday night. It was more of a solid thud. It wasn't so... It was more about boom. And then it just... Not, nothing happened. An explosion or something like it. It was a sudden... Wow, it's there, it's loud, and then it's over. Almost as quickly as it started, it was done. The calls came pouring in to 911. Yes, it was very weird. But officers who searched citywide couldn't find anything. No car accidents, no fires. So what was the source of the sound that could be heard all over Lafayette? Police say there were no explosions last night. They checked with Duke Energy, with factories in the area, and the airports, and nothing. So what was it? Allah'u Ekber! 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 Allah'u Ekber!
an image that can be seen with a close eye or a close eye. It's a plume of smoke from a fire where a man was saved just a few days ago. Look carefully at the upper left part of your screen and do you see a face in the smoke? Many argue it is a clear image of the face of Jesus. In Fresno, There's Connie Fran, KC24, local news that matters. Screams there's someone still in the burning building. A familiar image to many seems to pop up. What do you see there? Oh, it's Jesus up in there. It's Jesus. Oh, wow. Yeah, you can see it. I was coming from McDonald's and I seen all this smoke and you see Jesus in the smoke and then the person gets saved. That's, that's right there. It's, it's not a coincidence. You hear about this kind of stuff all the time. Indeed you do. People seeing images of Jesus or the Virgin Mary, and it's happened again. Just across the mile-long bridge to the east on the south side of Polk City, at the busy intersection of 3rd Street and Bridge Road, a mystery grows on the trunk of a tree. I've been bathed here a hundred times and I've never even noticed that. But many people have noticed it, and to them the image is quite clear. What do you see in that tree? Uh, the Virgin Mary. For the longest time, I couldn't decide if it looked like Mother Mary or Jesus. <laughs> Truth be told, it looks to me like the Mother Mary holding the baby Jesus. I guess now that you look at it, it's kind of amazing now. Quite a surprise for a man sitting down to dinner with his wife in the Poconos. He was about to take a bite of chicken when he noticed an image on that chicken breast. The man says he's not overly religious, but what he saw last night he considers a sign. I'm about to kind of fork into my chicken and lo and behold, I mean, there's a picture of what looked to be like Jesus to me and it really kind of took me aback. I showed my wife and we all laughed about it and said, wow, this is, you know, this is amazing. It's so clear. It's so um, concise there. If I could convey a message to, to people, I guess it would be, you know, pay attention. There are signs everywhere. And God says, yet once more am I going to shake the heavens and the earth. And the shaking is going on in all realms. Even in the scripture, there's a scripture that says, shake yourselves. In other words, wake up. We're going to see uh, class warfare. We're going to see the earthquakes, the volcanoes, the hurricanes, tsunamis, droughts, fires. It's going to come at us fast and furious.